Hey everyone, so I wanted to show you how to uh, use the infant and toddler um, and actually all the way up to adult uh, growth plotting charts. <clears throat> so I have four charts here that I'm going to show you. The first two are the same. They are one for a boy and one for a girl. So the easiest way to distinguish is that uh, the girl charts are typically pink. The boy charts are typically blue. So I'm going to zoom this out so you can see them in their entirety. So the girl chart that we're going to start with here is birth to 36 months is girls length for age and weight for age percentiles. So we're going to work on that chart. The boy chart, you plot the exact same as the girl chart. Um, it is birth to 36 months or three years old. Boys length for age and weight for age percentiles. And so you would plot it the same way that you will plot the girl chart that we're gonna uh, start with at the beginning there. Uh, the third chart is birth to 36 months, boys head circumference for age, and weight for length percentiles. So uh, on this chart, we're going to plot a couple of them. This chart is also available for girls uh, as well. Um, I did not put it up here because it's a little bit redundant. And you also plot on the girl chart uh, just the same as you would on the head circumference chart that we're going to plot here for a little boy. And then the last chart that I have here for you is the 2 to 20 year old girl chart, uh, stature for age and weight for age percentile. And I probably won't do a whole lot with this one because um, these aren't used all that often, but uh, I did want you to be aware that it is out there. And also, just as it is, is the case for the other charts, this is available for boys as well uh, for ages 2 to 20 years um, uh, also. So going back up to the top, the first thing you need to learn when you are looking at these growth plotting charts is uh, what the numbers are along the top and the sides of each of the chart meet. So there's a whole lot of numbers and once you figure out how to read those and how to work through those then you're good to go. Then the rest of it is just following lines across and down the chart and finding your point and putting a dot. So uh, starting from the top, the top is going to be the patient's age. And so I'm, I'm working with a graphics tablet, so this is probably going to be sloppy, so forgive me for that. But this is going to be age along the top here. And so you can see that we have birth, uh, starts with birth, goes all the way to 36 months. I'm going to blow this up so you can see. So we have <clears throat> birth here. And then this would be one month here, two months here, three months here, four, five, six is here, seven, eight, nine is there, 10, 11, there's a year old, and it goes so on. So all these tiny little boxes in between represent one individual month, and then you have the three month markers along the top. And so going across the top is your age range, okay? Now going down the side, the top boxes, the top set of boxes are going to be your length. And these are represented in both inches and centimeters. Um, and so inches, we start at the bottom. Let me get my little graphic pen to work here. Starts at 15 inches and or uh, what's that 38 39 40 37 ish centimeters down here now um, in the United States we typically measure in inches and so if you were looking here this is 15 let me get this out of here I had to pause it my dog started barking so hold on just a second so if you're looking here is 15 there's 15. And then if you look at the small, the big marks on the side, here's 15. There's 15 and a half, 16, 16 and a half, 17, 17 and a half, 18. Now if you're looking at the little marks over here on the side, you have 15, 15 and a quarter, 15 and a half, 15 and 3 quarters, 16, 
16 and a quarter, 16 and a half, 16 and three quarters, 17. So on the small side where the small markings are, they equal one quarter inch on, so that is the left, nope, right side. On the left side equals one half inch increments for the length. Now, um, so that's kind of how the length works. Now, if we go down here a little bit further, we have weight. And so for the weight, it works kind of the same way. So on the uh, left hand side of this weight column here, we have whole pound increments. So if we're starting here at six, this would be six, seven, eight, nine, 10 and so on. And then if we look over here on the right hand side, this would be six and a half, seven and a half, eight and a half. And so on the, for the weight, oh, my little graphics pencil is not very good. I'm so sorry about that. So on the weight, the left side is whole pounds. whole pounds and the right side is half pound and that's kind of how those are counted now if you get to a baby most babies um, by the time you know they hit a year old they're over 16 and a half 17 pounds and so when they get above 16 and a half or 17 pounds they're going to go over here to this side of the weight column on the right hand side of the page and we start at the bottom over here and then we work our way up to about uh, 39 and a half pounds and then we go from the bottom up over here. Just like we did over here, we do the same thing over here, but we come over here on this side when they uh, max out over here on this side. So um, same thing for length. If they are above 41 inches, then um, we start, and actually it starts over here at 35, so um, if they get above 35 inches, we can start over here on the right-hand side of the page with 35 inches and plot them over here as well. So, or fo follow the lines from the 35 mark over here and plot them over here as well. So what I have done is I've put some sample um, um, uh, measurements in here for you. Sorry, I keep losing my train of thought today. And so I'll show you how to plot a couple of these. So this is baby Bella and her um, gestational age was 40 weeks. Her date of birth was 3219 and her birth weight was six pounds and seven ounces. So what you should know and always remember is that um, one pound is 16 ounces and uh, there are most most people know that there are 12 um, inches in one foot not that that matters because we plot in inches here um, but one pound is 16 ounces okay so we are going to look here and uh, her birth weight was six pounds and seven ounces okay so we're going to follow this birth line up and she was six pounds at least we know that and then as i said these are half pounds over here so a half pound would be eight ounces so she was just underneath this half pound six and a half pound mark so i'm going to put my little dot about right there and so that would be her plot mark for her weight for her birth her length was uh, 18 and three quarters inches 
for birth. So we're going to go up here, birth. She was 18 and three quarters inches. So there's 18 and a quarter, a half. Here's three quarters. Here's her birth line. Is that right? Yes. So I'm trying to do this as precisely as possible with this really crappy graphic pencil. Okay, so there is, that looks like it's pretty close to, uh, oh, I need to do that, undo that. Come down here. So there's birth in 18 and 3 quarters inches. So what I did was follow this line down and over to here. That's not a very straight line, but that's what I was looking, what I was aiming for. So then we have her plot line there, and or her plot point there, and that's her birth plotting. Um, then we go to her one month plot, and she was seven pounds ten ounces. So we're going to go over one month. So here's birth. Here's one month. One month, she was seven pounds and 10 ounces. So that's just above seven and a half pounds. So seven pounds, just above seven and a half. So I'm gonna plot her like right in there. Um, and she was 19 and a quarter inches. So one month, she was 19 and one quarter. So she was right up below that line there. Again, I'm trying to get this as close as I can. There you go. And then for her two months, she was 10 pounds, 19 and three quarters. Since I'm already up here, I'm gonna plot this. So two months, so she was one month two months. I'm going to bring this down here to the next line, 19 and three quarters. Maybe go a little up. Let me check her. I think I might have got that last plot point in the wrong. 19 and a quarter, 18 and three quarters. I'm going to undo her plot line a little bit and move it down. So I'm going to do 19 and a quarter. So her first one was 18 and three quarters. 18, one, two, three quarters. And then she was 19 and a quarter over here. And then this next one was 19 and three quarters. Somewhere right close to here. Okay, that looks a little bit better. And then her last growth, I'm gonna plot her last one while I'm up here too was 20 and a half and that was four months so I'm going to come down to we skip three months go over to four months so four months skip this one go over to four months and she was 20 and a half so I'm going to go right here and so then I've got her growth um, plotted. And so you can see that um, for her age, this baby is following a very low percentile curve. She is, um, uh, for her age, uh, her length is following, she is under the third percentile. I did not pick very good sample baby weights. It's been a while since I've apparently taken a kid to all baby visits. Um, now, what ideally would happen is that a baby would follow uh, sample this one of these sample curves, and if she plotted up here 
in any of these, then you would follow the curve over and you would see that she would be in the third percentile, 10th percentile, 25th, whatever it is. And if that was the case, say she fell into the 25th percentile, that would mean that 25% of the kids her age were um, her size or smaller and 75% were uh, bigger than her. So back down to plotting the rest of her weights. She is 7 pounds, 10 ounces. We did that one. 10 pounds on her third uh, checkup at two months. So one, two, 10 pounds. And then her four month checkup here, she was 12 pounds, eight ounces. So just above 12 and a half, she was at 12 and a half pounds. 12 and a half. So you can see following this curve, I did a little bit better guessing baby weights than I did lengths. Um, so you can see following this curve, that she is right about the 25th percentile um, on her weight. So that gives the doctors kind of a, an idea of whether or not um, she may have some underlying conditions or whether or not she may need some extra nutrition or you know things that they may want to watch out for in her growth um, and development. So that's kind of how these growth charts work. Um, you look for the same thing. You do the same thing for boys um, as well on the boy chart. And then on the um, boys um, head circumference chart, uh, and this would be the same for the girls head circumference chart, you would plot just in the same way. So I put some numbers in down here for head circumference and you um, would um, plot, let's see, we have uh, at birth 13.75 inches um, for head circumference and so we would go down here to birth, the birth line 13.75 again over here is half inches, over here is quarter inches so here would be um, 13 and a quarter, 13 and a half, 13.75 so birth would be about there and um, let me go back down here 14.25 for one month so over here so for one month follow that line down and here's 14 14.25 be about here and let me see where this next plot goes, 15 and then 16.25 for two and four months. So for two months, uh, two months would be 15 and then we're going to skip three months and go to four months um, and at 16.25 so we're going to go right about I think that's about right there. So we're looking, if we follow this arc, this baby's head is again in about the 25th percentile. And so again, all of these graphs uh, plot using the same method. You just line up the um, points on the graph and um, find out uh, where your starting point is and follow the lines over. So um, then you connect the dots. Put your plot down and then connect the dots. Um, and so if I put a dot here then this would indicate that this child was 14 years old and was um, about a hundred and twenty-ish pounds and that would put this uh, kid in Mm, about the 60th percentile of their weight 
Um, if we did a 20 year old and put them up in the, let me get rid of this. <clears throat> I'm just going to put some random plots on here. Um, if we did a 20 year old and plotted it here and, uh, oops, that would actually make her, this girl 17 and we put her at 200 and 10, 12, 14, 16, so it's about 214 pounds here at this plot line. Um, that would put her above the 100% curve, so that would make her uh, on the more um, obese side, so, she, so that would be something that um, the physician would want to discuss with her parent and um, or with her about proper nutrition and so on. Um, likewise, if we had a patient who was, you know, down here somewhere at eight years old and she was in the 36-ish pound range, then she would be underweight and again, the, the provider would want to discuss proper nutrition and, and um, care with that parent. Um, and so we would want to um, take steps there as well. So that's kind of how these growth uh, charts work. If you have any questions, um, you can let me know and um, you'll get one of these in class to plot and um, to complete for your proficiency. All right, I think that's it. Thanks everyone.